Let me see if I can get some light in. Oh, God. Hey folks, Andrew here, and I am currently in Atlanta, Georgia for the Smite World Championships. The Hyrule Studio was actually really cool. Um, they they showed us around, and one of the actually one of the coolest things I noticed there there isn't any vending machines in their office. They have like a bunch of fresh food, and I thought that was actually really cool. On the tour, they gave us a rundown on how they make their uh, heroes or gods, uh, which was really cool. They have uh, basically one person that that helps uh, with researching the lore of the gods and the mythology. And they, they go to her and they're like, hey, we need this kind of god or we need that kind of god. And she's like, yeah, sure, use this person or that person. And then it goes to the concept artist where they, uh, they make sketches, a bunch of just generic sketches at first. And then they go and they make them more specific until they all agree upon uh, on, on one thing. And then they send it over to the, uh, the the 3D modeler, where he goes and he takes the concept art and he turns it into a 3D model, which was really cool. I saw them uh, how they make the the whole like skin paint or the uh, the skin map, as they call it, I think, uh, which was uh, pretty cool to see. After it goes to the 3D modeler, it goes to the animation team, and they get up with the animation and rigging. Uh, rigging, if uh, you guys don't know, is essentially. Um, kind of the, the, the skeleton of uh, a 3D model. So when you know an arm moves, you can see that uh, the chest moves as well. So they, they map out all of that, which was uh, really cool to see. Then it's sent over to the effects guy who makes the effects of the gods to make them unique. Um, like all the particle effects and the spells, like that guy works on them, which is really cool to see. You gotta give credit to the high-res people. They, they, they spend a lot of time and a lot of testing on their gods to make sure that you know, they're, they're fun to play and that they're all unique. Then we went into a room and we met two players from Complexity, a pro team from Smite, uh, Incont and Weaken. Uh, they were really cool, and they taught us about the uh, the esports e scene of Smite, which is uh, still a little up and coming, but is still very, very, very serious, and it's actually very inspiring to to know about their story. Then they 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 sent us to a room to actually play Smite, um, which I. I don't tell them, but I've never really played Smite before, so it was my first time actually getting on it. Um, I played uh, Poseidon, King of the Waves, and uh, I won. Well, I didn't win. Our team won, and I had a positive KDA, so King of the Waves, bitches, uh, look out Smite 2015. I'm coming for you. Then at the end, the, uh, the heads of the studio, they brought us into a room, and they showed us some of the new stuff that's coming for season two, and uh, some of the stuff that's going to be happening during the, uh, the tournament. Uh, you guys are probably not going to see this until the tournament's done, but uh, there's some cool stuff happening for season two for the Smite players. Mainly they're updating the Mount Olympus map, uh, which is making it really nice. Uh, they're making the, the creeps more specific, so the red buff are, 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 are ogre warriors, and the blue buff off our ogre magi so it makes more sense it's going to be a lot smoother transition in the jungle so it's going to be really exciting for the smite players and i just you know just wanted to share with you guys so uh until next time uh, for more content like this head over to shacknews.com i'm gonna go and be sick now